Hello everyone. Welcome to this session of OpenMentor.net. Our motto is the whole world can learn for free. In this session, rather a series of sessions, we are going to talk about ERPs. What is ERP? This is a typical buzzword you will be hearing in the software industry a lot. A simple expansion is Enterprise Resource Planning. This ERP is one of the top growing and well stabilized areas and uh, it's a niche area in the software industry. One of the key factors that cause the success of ERP is business value. Because the software directly helps the business to gain value out of the business. That is why this ERP is very famous and very uh, successful also over a period of time. In this session, we will be talking about the background of ERP, <coughs> some of the common modules of ERP. Then in the subsequent sessions, we will be talking more about each and every module of ERP. The very specific way this evolved is uh, over the last two, three decades. What happened is previously, companies used to develop projects for them. For example, if a company has say a need for automating its accounting, right? Develop something using C, C++ or COBOL or uh, FoxPro, right? Or VB. So people used to develop the software for them. This is a this is a custom development. That means that the product will work only for them. You cannot take that software, give it to another company and then make it work. It will not work because my process of business is specific to me. Because the software is also based on the processes that I use, it, it will not work for the others. Maybe conceptually the same, but it, it is not ex it's not an exact fit. So what happened uh, till 1990s and 1995, people used to do a lot of development like this. Uh, I missed another thing or Java also, right? A lot more languages people used. But what happened is, Business processes are almost same. For example, if you take accounting, 80 to 90 percent of how I do accounting is same as you do accounting. Purchasing, financing, HR, right? Production planning, inventory management, everything is pretty much same across the world, but there will be definite differences. So the prob one of the major problems of custom development is right from requirements specs to implementation. It's all very specific to you and if company A develops software for this for 10 different companies, 10 times the same effort is put. So if I develop a project for say company A, client, customer A, customer B asks for very similar project, then I used to do from requirements, design, coding, testing, performance testing, implementation, everything, I do it again. So it takes time. So time to implement was longer. But the customers don't have to wait. And since you are doing everything from scratch, it leads to issues. 
there is nothing like okay this product is stabilized for so long it's not there so it was it's a problem but the features are pretty much the same so what some of the software product companies thought um, famous ERP software companies are like SAP Oracle PeopleSoft which is now again uh, Oracle and I would say PeopleSoft and Oracle they are now one uh, so and uh, you could see another product called the Sage right there are so many products which are available in the market everyone has everyone's speciality in the in those areas and they have their own customer groups but pretty much they do the same thing for the customers they attack the business process and they automate business process so by doing this what do I do reduce cycle time if you get information quickly you don't have to wait and uh, that that helps you to do more analysis so these products ERP products help companies to reduce cycle time in terms of production in terms of shipping in terms of support everywhere any area you take they reduce the cycle time by automating the process so these companies thought okay based on consulting experiences they have done a lot of consulting experience so based on that they saw pretty much the requirements are same so collate all common features develop that as product so the moment you collate all the features of what customers want and make that as a product when you go to the customer 80% of features are ready and tested 20% will vary from customer to customer so rather than taking 100% of my development effort say one year or one and a half years the product framework is already ready 80% of the features what customer want is ready only 20% I need to customize and then implement so my cycle time to implement is quick pretty quick so immediately customers can get uh, the value moreover it reduces cost if a hotel has to or if a restaurant has to make a dish exclusively for you then uh, it takes time whereas they have made X amount of dish maybe 100 kilograms and if they are able to give it say piece by piece to the people the way they sell is faster right so ready-made items are fast in moving same way ready software is fast in moving so fast to implement and it has got a track record of having been tested for some time this is how the ERP started rather than developing the same kind of software again and again and again for every customer develop the base features on top of it give only customization first it was not initially called ERP it was called the MRP right it was initially named as uh, materials requirement planning then it it was not only just materials because most of the companies which are dealing with manufacturing industry and real estate where our infrastructure they used to have a lot of inventory so they need to manage the material after that it was not only the material then they said the entire manufacturing right the planning the execution the shipping the implementation the support manufacturing resource planning it, it was the same MRP has been renamed with the, the expansion from manufacturing resource planning because you need to manufacture the goods you need to manage the goods 
you need to manage the equipments you need to manage the people you need to manage the cost you need to manage the time so resource cost time the resource can be human resource or material resource if you are able to manage these three well then that is what is called ERP this is this is the background of ERP it took almost uh, two decades for the ERPs to mature in terms of functionality based on the consulting experience and uh, the brand now we specifically call them as uh, packaged software because so many features are already packaged you don't develop an operating system for you you just go and buy off the shelf and you don't buy a spreadsheet it's off the shelf available same way ERPs are now available off the shelf so you can straight away start using it now another trend is going on previously people used to install ERP in their place that means in their servers again I need to manage the servers I need to manage the admin AC cooling power now there is a model called the SaaS software as a service it is nothing but hosted ERP you just pay per use it's like email it is already hosted you don't have to maintain servers you don't have to maintain AC cooling power people just start using but for every month for every user there is a charge pay only that it's like utility consumption like you pay for electricity based on your consumption in a postpaid mobile billing system you make calls based upon the number of minutes you talked your build same way SaaS model works based on the usage so this is how it all started now ERPs are available in SaaS model also Hope this is clear.